Hey, man. Uh, John, I'm here. I'm alive, man. Uh, I'm alive, man. Um, there's a lot of things I wanted to address. A lot. But when you're spared and given more time and you really break it down, you start to look at all the opportunities that you had to, you know, maybe live your dream, do what you want to do in life, people you wanted to talk to, places you wanted to go, all of that flashes, you know, and you saw the car. Mm Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm-hmm. Today had to happen. I had to come out here. Uh, there's so many people I want to address, so many situations I want to address, but, you know, a lot of people have, you know, wondering, am I all right? Am I okay? You know, I just want y'all to keep me in your prayers, continue to. I really just need this time. It's so hard to address everybody at one time. I can't get to all of y'all at one time. So this is why I'm having this PSA right now with John right now. Right. So that, you know, I can just address everybody at one time. Just let y'all know that, you know, I love and miss y'all right now like crazy too. But, you know, going through this, you know, I'm banged up. Uh, and so my, my first love has been taken away from me. I can't hoop right now. Um, so a lot of my young guys have been asking me where I've been at and I don't want to let y'all down. I just want y'all to know that, um, I miss y'all. I love y'all. You know what I'm saying? Um, I put a lot of, I put a lot of time into these young guys. I want to, I just want to just let y'all know it's not y'all. It's me really just have to heal up before I can actually go there. Uh, my eye got cut up, my feet. I don't want to get into it. Um, and legally, I can't. So I'm not going to speak on it. But just know I'm alive. And I'm pulling for y'all. We worked all summer so that y'all can hit the gyms and play y'all's games and go somewhere and do something with this game. And... You know, I I told you, I called you, I said, say, man, you know, a lot of people ask me about this game of basketball. Like, why do I love it so much? Why do I want to talk about it so much? Why do I cover it so much? Why am I going to these random kids' games, t- filming? What is this all about, you know? And uh, do I live through them some type of way? Yeah, I do. There's a little piece of me with everybody that I've been in the gym with, shared, gave them some game with because you see a little piece of yourself and at the end ultimately you just want these people to just get a free education out of it whatever they take from it from after that that is up to them but at least go to school for free at least have that opportunity Mm. and uh and that's why i do this i don't do this i've promoted hundreds of kids over the years i don't do this for money right I do this for a real love, man. Uh, I had surgery on my top of my head, and it was my Aunt Madge. My Aunt Madge was the, the person that gave me my first Michael Jordan posters. She was the one that told me about Jordan. Hitting the shot in Carolina, getting drafted to the Bulls. She bought me that my first posters that I still have to this day. Uh, my dad put that goal up. If you lived in Garland, guaranteed you came to my house and you played some basketball after school at least one or two times. Everybody came to the house and played ball until my pop pulled up. (laughs) Then it was, hey man, everybody scattered like roaches. Everybody was scared of my pop, but it was cool. But for that moment, we vibed. That's how every person that I pretty much known over my life that I call a friend we have been to the court and hooped at one point or another have we hooped together John facts factuals no lies being told every single one of them every single one of them 
that's where I meet y'all. Mm-hmm. When I was on teams, I learned values for life. It's not just basketball. I learned how to work with other individuals, other different personalities, learned how to take direction from coach, learn discipline, learn how to work hard for something, to try to earn something. This ain't just basketball, man. Do you know how many people are get are employed from the game of basketball? People that I know played, didn't play, that were just around the game. Now they film basketball and get paid. Now they ref games and get paid, have leagues. I see squads from my area going to other cities and towns and winning money for playing for playing the game of basketball. Mm. I watched my best friend go overseas for 13 years, dominate, become the Jordan of Europe basketball and take care of his family and still taking care of his family off basketball. It's not just a game for me. He took me to Rome so I could see other parts of the world. How did I get there? The game of basketball took me there. Ultimately. Mm. And uh, I'm just not going to let people just casually talk about it like it's just some pastime, like I'm pushing drugs. I love this game of basketball. That's where I bonded at. That's where I met all my people at. And not to overkill, but this next season... As much as I love to talk about the guys in the league, it's not just going to be about them. I'm going to have to talk about the hometown hometown heroes. Excuse me. I can't exclude them because what took pe- took place over the last year, 22-23, was some of the greatest basketball and some of the greatest basketball stories of my lifetime. I got to watch Trey go down and win state. That's big. I can't wait to talk about that. I'm never going to let y'all ever forget that. Rich, if you ever listen to this, man. What you did for the, what you did through your son for the city, man. I will never let people forget that, man. We didn't win state. But your son, you gave him the game and you took him down state. Mr. Texas. I watched that run. So all these young guys that maybe a lot of people don't talk about because we always used to talk about just the league, just the league, just the league. I can't, I can't exclude them coming from this podcast coming soon. I gotta, I gotta tell the world about this, this younger generation that's coming up. I gotta give them their flowers. I gotta let them know if somebody in the stands that's cheering for them, that just wants to see them win. And that's what it's going to be about going forward. Of course, I'm going to keep giving y'all league information, breaking down the games. That's me. That's what I'm going to do. I'm just letting you know I'm just not going to forget about the other people. I watched my cousins bring a championship back, a district championship back into the family. I didn't get to do that in my district They did that in my district. I'm not going to let y'all forget that either. I had to watch my cousin in Arizona get buried on the bench. And I had to just bite my tongue. But every time she got in, she did her thing. To now being in Miami. With my last name on her back. Showing my daughters 
Nah, that's you. She just needed an opportunity. Game two, she's player of the game. She just needed an opportunity. And that's motivation. I'm just not going to let y'all forget about all the stories that took place. My favorite player is playing for my favorite city right now. I'm not going to let you, it, it's, for me, it's a dream come true. When your favorite basketball player is Jordan, you get to meet him. Your favorite next basketball player you love is Kobe. You get to watch him play a game in your favorite city. And now you got your favorite player playing for your favorite team. I love my city. John, you from Cali, but where I meet you at? D-Town, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Show me parts of it I'd never seen. Facts. It's just so much. I promise. I promise I'm going to come back. But it had to start here and it had to start with John and it had to start on this pod first before we could address anything. I have to take steps before I can address the masses. Facts. John, you saw that car, right? Man, it's a blessing that you're still moving around, my brother. Those little moments that I took for granted, I'm not going to take for granted anymore. And those relationships I have, just watching little piece on Shaq and Shaq was like, you know what? He was on Drink Champs and he was saying, you know, these are all the people that I love. And I say, oh, I'm going to call him tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to call him tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to call him tomorrow. Facts. Come on. Mm -hmm. We're not going to keep doing that. We're going to start building from here on out. And I hate I have to give you this such serious vibe right now. Because y'all y'all know me. I love to laugh. But it's serious business going on. And just know this is the introduction to Just Mike TV. An all over production. <laughs>